Hi guys, this is Ben from Ben's RPG Pile. Today we're going to talk about how to make your own Dreamblade D&D miniature. Uh, we've done a similar series on this uh, with Mage Knight miniatures, and today I thought we'd show you how uh, how we do it with Dreamblade miniatures, which was a line made by Wizards of the Coast a while ago. And uh, uh, there's some real good miniatures out there that you can use to uh, debase and rebase, and I get some more minis to choose from. So the first thing you got to do is you got to acquire your Dreamblade miniatures, and um, uh, I. Uh, buy these on uh, eBay but I don't I don't usually do the lot um, sales I typically do the uh, individual single sales because I don't really like some of the surprises that you get in those random lots not to say that they don't work out okay but um, I just think it's easier to uh, pick and choose your own uh, these are about a buck to two three bucks a piece so it's a pretty good deal um, so first thing you do, grab those you can get a whole big bunch, 30, 30 bucks, something like that. Now you got to take off the bases. Tricky thing about the bases is these are um, uh, like molded on. So this is this is uh, plastic on plastic, and uh, typically you would use one of these Exacto knives to um, take a Mage Knight mini off, right? This is a Mage Knight mini, and you would typically just be able to put a, a big thick towel in your hands and just slip this, uh, cut this right off with an Exacto knife. You can't do that with Dreamblade because they're on there so well. So use what is called a hot knife. Let's slide these out of the way. Um, and with a hot knife, you know, you plug that in and it gets really hot. And I burn my fingers quite a bit because I'm clumsy. But uh, basically, what you do once this gets hot, you just essentially take the um, hot knife and you just slide it uh, under the mini, and then it'll do what it's uh, supposed to do and uh, get that miniature right off there. Um, and when you do that. So you kind of look like that, so you get those feet off there. So no problem. Um, however, uh, um, some of the mini some of the mage knife minis, uh, see they have like mostly base, and I mean there's no way I could get a hot knife under there. Yeah, uh, you get this really toxic fume, by the way. You should definitely cover your mouth with uh, uh, something when you're doing this, because holy cow, it really reeks. But uh, um, you can have a good old father-in-law or someone who's good with a saw, uh, like a uh, saw, one of those. Uh, roto zip uh, kind of saw things, Dremel things, um, and uh, you can actually, you can eventually cut everything around it and then base them that way, uh, but it does take a little bit of uh, um, ingenuity to do that. My father-in-law is real great with those, and he has all those tools, so he was able to cut around these really easily. Let's see when you rebase. See, that one had a really big, big thick thing around it, and I was able to rebase that after he chopped away, and so it essentially looked like that. Right. Okay. So um, you get the bases off. After you get the bases off, um, what you're going to do is you're going to select new bases. I still think Gale Force Nine has the best bases at the most affordable prices. Uh, they have all sorts of uh, ones to choose from. There's the um, uh, uh, you know two four square kind of things. The single D20 square uh, works great. Um, they've got them in circle. Also, they even have really tiny ones like so. So those are the ones I like at Gale Force 9's site. But you can also uh, get them in other places. Uh, Citadel um, makes a bunch and there's those just traditional plastic uh, kind of look like Lego minis uh, bases, right? So uh, I have both. Um, but you're going to get your bases, okay? So uh, basically so far you've debased your mini, right? You've you bought your mini, you've debased it, and then you've picked out a base for it. Okay, after you do that, you're going to do the traditional uh, flock. Um, I uh, uh, I still love Skullcrafts. I think they have the best flock out there, and a lot of times I just mix these together. Uh, Oregon Beach Sand, that's a keeper. I use that one like crazy. Um, but uh, um, grab, get your flock, and then um, uh, for gluing down your your mini to the base, uh, typically with Mage Knight Minis, I would use like crazy glue. You can get it like staples and something like that. But um, uh, these Mage Knight Minis, they're a little heavier. And they, that rubber, it's not plastic, right? So that rubber just doesn't work as great. So um, I use uh, tacky glue. Well, that's as good as I can get it. Uh, tacky glue, um, much stronger uh, and more durable. And when you put that down, the Mini sticks to it. And there'll be excess tacky glue around the feet. And I just take my X-Acto knife and scrape that away after the fact. 
but if you use tacky glue you'll get those miniatures to stick down on the base okay when you're done with that after you glue your mini down you're certainly going to want to uh, and then you flock it you're going to want to put a matte sealer down um, I really like the uh, clear matte sealer uh, from uh, old dork tower uh, uh, but um, uh, you can uh, any kind of matte sealer do but make sure you do because if you don't that flock sprays all over the place or you know won't stay down so uh, I, I just like the uh, that particular uh, spray mat okay and then look at all the types of mini options you have you can have um, here's a D&D uh, &D, or sorry here's a dream blade scarecrow uh, scarecrow miniature with the with the hawk on there and there's a regular D&D &D one right they're both great nothing wrong with uh, this but I, I can't see I can't buy these anymore so because I can't buy these anymore um, I think this is a pretty good substitute and it's nice to have multiple scarecrows of different kinds so it's easier to separate your minis um, you can there's also all sorts of great dark sun options right I love the different ones I got here right, look at all those great ones like so okay so plenty of dark sun uh, possibilities um, you can also create little squads you can buy some of the more common ones and that's a great little dark sun uh, squad right there right that you could use uh, the minis are also right there are plenty of twisted ones um, that you can use and D&D has plenty of options for nightmare scenarios so a lot of these guys are great choices right um, then you can also uh, get uh, creative and um, uh, you can put some terrain around some of the minis that one I did and uh, I put like a little uh, green swamp in there kind of thing right on a base so that's like a more unique kind of thing but um, you know and then you know there's certainly your oozes and all that kind of stuff right and um, there's like a two two creature one kind of thing oops sorry guys I'm getting used to the camera so um so those are choices right and then um, uh, now some people talk about the scale like like hey that's that mini is too big well for me it's great to have some variety in scale right of all most of the D&D minis are kind of the traditional like three sizes uh, but it's cool to have some that are really small or really big and just have them be unique and different from the rest so uh, I don't mind that some of them are too big right I don't care if that guy's a little bigger than a regular mini he's the leader right he should be bigger and more unique um, all right, and then there's some some crazy ones with two heads and you know that kind of thing and nightmare ones this one's got a really nice pretty girl on the front and then you turn her around and it's a whole demon thing right so plenty of nightmare possibilities dreams and surprise twists on the miniatures uh, so you know that's kinda that's what I do to kinda keep my miniature collection alive and have some nice um, unique options in the mix uh, and then you know some of those bigger ones you can get pretty creative uh, right there's one that was on one of those really thick plastic bases and we cut it off and I glued down some uh, rock terrain and then flocked it and it became multiple levels and everything like that so that's kinda cool to have that as a choice so there it is guys that's, a, uh, that's how to make a dream blade uh, miniature be sure to check us out on Twitter uh, Ben's RPG Pile um, you can say hey to us on our Facebook page you can um, check us out on iTunes uh, where you can see us uh, our video podcast you can see us play with some of these miniatures and see how it works out and you can always read our weekly blog and there'll be a blog post on these miniatures where you can kind of see how we did everything so you know something different and uh, it's been a lot of fun we've really enjoyed uh, uh, basing them and again we're just trying to get as many different miniature options as we can so there it is thanks guys